Today we're driving the 2022 Rolls-Royce Cullinan. This is the ultimate luxury SUV. It rides on air suspension. It has a 6.75 liter V12 that makes 563 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. Starting price on this is about $342,000. As tested, we're at 429 grand. I've driven this up to Harbor Springs this weekend for Charlie's wedding from Daily Motor, and uh, I've brought my family with me. They're not in the car with me right now, but it has been an excellent road trip vehicle. Let's walk you around this Cullinan. We'll show you what it looks like inside and out, and then we'll take it for a drive. Pardon my voice. I'm just getting over a cold, so a little bit hoarse still, but I'll try my best to get through this review with as little vocal drama as possible. Let's start on the outside. So, this Cullinan is intended to be Rolls-Royce's adventure vehicle. We have a full-time four-wheel drive system, height-adjustable air suspension, and off-road mode. I'm not sure how many people in America will be taking these off-road, but it is apparently quite capable. Most of our driving, though, this week has been on-road, and uh, it has all been absolutely sublime. This is the first Rolls-Royce that I've spent any significant time in behind the wheel, and the ride quality here is absolutely unmatched by any other luxury car or SUV. We have a split opening tailgate with plenty of room in the trunk. You can configure this back section with a bunch of different options, but we just have a pretty straightforward setup. You have two buttons here to fold down the rear seats for more cargo space if needed one button press to lock the vehicle or close everything up. Kind of similar to the BMW X5. The styling on this Cullinan is very stately, very purposeful. You know it's a Rolls Royce just by looking at it. We have the Spirit of Ecstasy up front, Rolls Royce logos, a massive grill, pretty large 22 inch seven spoke alloy wheels, a massive brake setup, and we have these Continental Conti Sport Contact 5 tires, which are surprisingly aggressive for an SUV like this. We also get these coach-style rear doors that open like so. They afford really nice ingress and egress into the rear cabin space. Floor vents for our feet, plenty of legroom, a little space here to put some things. You've got vents right here. Instead of reaching over to close your door, all you have to do is just press this button and it'll close automatically for you. Once you're inside, there's a whole screen here to keep you entertained with a bunch of different applications. You can see navigation, control the radio, media, all of that good stuff. We have climate control vents, rear heated seats, everything in this Cullinan. All the buttons, all the switch gear is very purposeful, very tactile, very nice. Lots of piano black on the center dashboard. The leather, the feel, the touch points, everything, the hand stitching, it's all magnificent. The highlight for me in this interior is the shooting star headliner. You look up at it for long enough and you will see little shooting stars kind of flicking across the ceiling. It's a $7,900 option and worth every single penny. It stays on all the time, day, night. It is absolutely something to behold. You can have a couple different modes. You can have it kind of twinkle the stars or leave everything stationary. And of course, you can turn it all on or turn it all off if you desire. But you've got to leave it on because it's just so cool. You also have a very nice control back here to adjust the height of your pillow appointed headrest. Very soft, very luxurious. Again, Rolls-Royce logos embossed. The quality of everything is pretty unmatched in a lot of other vehicles that I've driven. Look at these hinges. Just everything is overbuilt. Everything is solid. Everything is incredibly well made. Oh, and of course, there's an umbrella in each rear passenger door 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Carbon fiber tip. <laughs> so cool that Rolls-Royce still includes this in their vehicles. You can close the rear door just by pressing the button and it'll shut automatically. Let's take a look under the hood here at this 6.75 liter V12. Not a whole lot to look at, a lot of plastic. Quite an engine though. Rated for 12 miles to the gallon in the city, 20 on the highway. Incredibly quiet, very smooth. Pretty stunning looking SUV, this Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Let's hop inside, show you around the front seat a little bit, and then we'll take it for a drive. These doors will also stay at whatever point you leave them. You can close the front doors with these two buttons right here. Soft close, of course. All right, let's just take a minute to admire some of this switch gear. We have these vent controls here where you can open and close the vents and the vents themselves, listen to that. They have such a nice weight to them, just hewn from the finest and heaviest of metals. Physical controls for everything. Heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, recirculation air. There's no guesswork as to what any of the functions in this Rolls Royce perform. We have a nice clock here. The only disappointment that I have in this cabin is the digital gauge cluster. I feel like it's kind of like Rolex releasing a digital smartwatch or something. It's just not quite as authentic as I was hoping for. Honestly, that's not Rolls Royce's fault. That's consumer's fault for demanding these digital cage clusters in every car. Honestly, they're not all they've been chalked up to be, and I would prefer an analog gauge setup. I feel like it would just add a little bit more specialness to this cabin and differentiate it from the trends these days that we see in automotive design. I found that we have a really nice infotainment Kind of similar to BMW's iDrive, we have this controller wheel down here, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all wireless. Integration has been seamless and perfect this week, really easy to set up. Very straightforward controls in this vehicle. Um, I love the redundancy of this being a touchscreen, and you have controls down here with quick access buttons. Down here next to the scroll wheel, you have the height adjustability. You can adjust the ride height of this Cullinan for more off-road capability. There's even a button down here so you can quickly access your cameras. Here's the shifter, column shifter mounted to the steering wheel, of course. Very nice. And here's your off-road mode button. Get your cup holders right here. There's a little bit more of a tray there to put a mobile device or whatever. And then in the center console, you've got some more room USB type C ports. Here's all your climate adjustability. Again, just the feel of everything. So nice. You almost have to kind of experience it in person to really appreciate the quality here. The touch points, the leather, the stitching, it all just comes together to really give you this whole Rolls Royce experience. I can't really think of a better vehicle for the luxury lifestyle than this in the city today. Anyway, let's go. We'll take it for a drive and uh, see how it does on the road. The steering is perfectly weighted at low speeds. Builds a little bit of heft as you get up past 40 or 50 miles per hour. Take it into some corners. This V12 is very, very smooth, almost silent when you're just cruising around town. Probably the most striking thing behind the wheel of this Cullinan is just the hood. It's so long. This is a massive vehicle. And of course you get to see the spirit of ecstasy at the end. I don't think I've ever driven any vehicle that soaks up bumps and road imperfections and rides down 
the street with such quietness and poise. This Cullinan isn't light. It tips the scales at just over 6,000 pounds curb weight, but it feels surprisingly quick for being that heavy. Even though this is a very large vehicle, it is pretty easy to place on the road. You have excellent visibility and sight lines all around you. A lot of confidence behind the wheel. It's an incredibly serene and relaxing experience driving this Cullinan. Pretty unique experience in the automotive space. I've driven a lot of luxury cars, a lot of S classes and 7 series. And though those are nice and they may boast more tech and more updated features, this Rolls Royce really delivers on all the important points of a luxury car. There really is no other vehicle on the road like a Rolls Royce. Nothing drives like a Rolls Royce. Nothing looks like a Rolls Royce or feels like a Rolls Royce. Quick zero to 60. Is surprisingly fast. All of your inputs are perfectly tuned to the purpose of this vehicle. Brake pedal is soft but very linear, very easy to modulate smoothly. Same with the steering. There are never any harsh or abrupt inputs from any of the controls in this Cullinan. There are a few more harsh impacts from these Continental Sport tires. I could do with a slightly less aggressive tire. Turning radius is excellent for a large SUV. It just wafts down the road. It's almost a bit of a classic motoring experience. This thin spoke steering wheel, seeing the spirit of ecstasy 10 feet away from you at the end of that hood. All the chrome and gloss black in this interior. This is one time when I don't mind gloss black on the interior. It really works. It really looks good. All the piano black, all the chrome polished finishes on the door kick plates, on the side sills here, on the windows. I also appreciate that in this interior, everything is cohesive. There's a really nice blend of design elements, and maybe it's the way that Rolls-Royce has spec'd this press car. There are a lot of options on this car, about $70,000 worth of interior appointments and finishes, and it all just adds up to a beautiful spec. The gray is subtle and kind of understated. This is definitely one of those cars that you kind of have to experience in person to really appreciate. You have to feel the leather on the steering wheel and sit in the seats and kind of smell everything and, and get behind the wheel and touch all of these these buttons and knobs and dials. It's incredibly quiet in here too. Barely any wind or road noise, even up to speeds of 90 miles an hour. It's actually pretty close to an electric driving experience. You barely hear the engine. The only times are maybe a low speed full throttle. Everywhere else, it's pretty much silent. This is kind of the perfect car for me this week since my voice is hoarse. I can just whisper my way through this review. <laughs> this Cullen and Hustles.
There are no drive modes to worry about, except for off-road mode. You just get in and go. It's a stress-free, worry-free experience behind the wheel. I have a very prominent and authoritative driving position, very high up. I can see really well what's going on in front of me. There's a real authority to how this barrels down the road. It just eats up miles, pavement, nothing phases it. There's also a pretty impressive warranty to this Cullinan too. Four years unlimited miles for warranty and maintenance. Again, adding to that worry-free driving experience. The sound system in this Cullinan is excellent. We should probably do a brief sound system test. We'll go into our music library here, select our sound system test playlist. Got a big volume knob front and center. I really appreciate that Rolls-Royce has stuck with physical controls in these cars. Sometimes luxury means simplicity and usability and functionality. And that's where this Cullinan delivers. There's also quite a bit of capability here. Sound system is pretty amazing. No complaints there. Sounds like a sound system that you would experience in a $400,000 car. So how can we sum up the Rolls-Royce Cullinan? Well, I really appreciate the classic approach to luxury that Rolls-Royce has maintained here. They haven't gone too heavy with technology. They've given you everything you need. They've given you CarPlay. They've given you nice integration with your smart devices. And everything else is just how it should be. There are physical controls and buttons for all of your selections, for your climate, for um, all of your settings and luxury features. I really appreciate that. Sometimes some of the new luxury cars on the market from BMW and Mercedes are a little bit too tech heavy. They're just a little bit complicated and confusing and it's a bit much. And I think it detracts from the driving experience and the luxury element because you're always a little bit stressed. You're always kind of thinking about, oh, well, how do I control this? What do I need to do? I'm taking my eyes off the road. It's all very straightforward in this Rolls-Royce Cullinan. My only complaint with this specific car is that it might be a little bit light on features for the price, but it's a Rolls Royce. If you want a Rolls Royce, you're gonna get a Rolls Royce and you gotta pay to play. Anyway guys, that'll begin to wrap up our review on the 2022 Rolls Royce Cullinan. Charlie from Daily Motor is getting married this week and he thought this would be the perfect vehicle to uh, show up at his wedding and I can't disagree. This has been a phenomenal experience. Pleasure driving it up north for him to uh, enjoy on his wedding day. And uh, really just an impressive lifestyle experience in this Cullinan. I think uh, you know 
this is kind of the last word in luxury SUVs these days. It's a very complete and cohesive package. Everything here delivers on its promise of the ultimate luxury SUV. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.